Hi everyone, this is Kelly at Mazda Gurus. Hello, it's Tom at Mazda Gurus. So, you can start the car now. Um, we have... Um, now, I obviously understand we are Mazda Gurus. Um, but occasionally we don't know everything. <laughs> A lot so, of the time. <laughs> so, Mazda send um, people to train us, which is awesome. So in dealer training, it means that we um, don't have to spend too much time at the dealership. Um, and we can learn some new things. So, the biggest thing that we've been um, taught about recently, which has been very helpful to us, is um, about Sky Active X. Sky Active X. Um, so the car, Sky Active engine has arrived in the new Mazda 3 now. Um, and although we knew it was great, can't absolutely say we knew why, did we? No. No. We knew the theory. We knew a little bit. <laughs> um, but we've been taught some stuff now, and so now we want to impart that knowledge Share to our you. Wealth. Apologise if this video is a little bit bumpy. Um, it's my bad driving. Yeah, but we will hopefully get onto the motorway <laughs> soon and it'll be a little bit smoother. Um, but really, uh, we're going to explain the kind of ins and outs with Sky Active X, why it's here, why it's unique to Mazda, and what we know of it. So, I'm going to, I'm showing this screen because when um, Sky Active X is at its best, this combustion status over here changes, and I'll explain about that. But otherwise, we could just do Tom's lovely face throughout the journey, but he'll get, <laughs> get upset good side, about yeah. that. So <laughs> we'll have this on while we're driving. But I'm going to start to explain. So Sky Active X basically has something the engine has um, spark controlled compression ignition. Okay. Specky. Yeah, so Mazda refer to this as SPCCI. Um, now, I don't know you see, but as and when it does work, this little section over here in your energy flow monitor glows green, and the brighter it glows, the more it's happening. Now, for you to understand this, we have to give you a little lesson on engines. <laughs> um, so, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try, but um, I didn't. I have to say, as much as I know about Mazda's engines, weren't really my forte. But I actually really enjoyed this lesson. So, a petrol engine uses ignition, it uses a spark. Yes, I'm correct. right with that. Anna. That's correct. A diesel engine uses compression, so it compresses it down, so that it gets to a level that it combusts. Okay, now. That combustion is what I believe gave torque and the different type of power that petrol had and the spark gave like the kind of speed that petrol had but it lacked torque. So Mazda is still very much in love with combustion engines. We know that electric will come our way but they very much want to make a um, combustion engine that's as good as it can be. Going to a petrol engine from a diesel car is difficult. It's, um, you don't have as much torque, you don't have power in the same places, and if you haven't been used to a petrol engine, you can find it underpowered at different times. Um, so Mazda were not happy with this. They are the Challenger brand. They don't, they defy convention. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's the rotary engine, has always shown. Um, but really, they just thought that there must be a better way. And so they come up with Sky Active X and SPCCI. So for anybody that is interested, what it means is there are a few steps to this engine. So in step one, a lean fuel air mixture is released into the combustion chamber with less fuel and two or three times more air than in a conventional petrol engine. So that's the first step to it, but that alone means it can't ignite, the engine won't start. Um, so the step two, that lean fuel air mixture is compressed to near compression ignition conditions. Bear with me, stick with me. <laughs> step three, at the right point a tiny amount of fuel is injected into the combustion engine alongside a spark which together will initiate a fireball that increases temperature and pressure in the cylinder. 
okay? Step four, the increase in temperature and pressure lifts the mixture beyond critical status until compression ignition conditions are met for rapid and simultaneous combustion. Now, for lots of people that won't mean a huge <laughs> amount, but it's super, super clever because what they have done and this is what I hadn't really grasped, is they have really mixed a petrol and a diesel engine. They've fused them. They've, yeah, it's such a good idea. Like, we are the only brand that do this. Like, this is a first. And considering how small Mazda is, that's such a feat. Like, like it's worth pointing out that other manufacturers have tried to do this and failed. Have they? Yeah. Well. They've not, spent money, time, resources trying to crack it and they haven't and Mazda is the first one to do it, which like Kelly said is kudos to little old Mazda. I know, and um, this is why we absolutely love this brand because they really do um, manage to create things that just... Defy convention. Yeah, and I know like we sound so <laughs> cheesy when we say it, but <laughs> you're just super proud of them because it's such a thing to do. So. But the other interesting thing is, on our training, so we had a lovely driver and he took us out for a drive and we learnt all these things. So, um, the, it's a bit like, well, it has got hybrid technology as well, but it is a bit like a hybrid in the fact that that doesn't work all the time. There have to be certain conditions. The car cannot be uh, cold for it to work, so when it very first starts off, it won't work. Um, you have to be accelerating, don't you? So I think you a bit like the other, so when, if Tom was to come, well, wait, if he was to come off the accelerator like he is now, then you can see that it's not working and there it's actually um, using the um, energy from braking to, again, use the motor, which is all to do with our mild hybrid. So if you watch our video on the mild hybrid, it's still got all of that technology, but it's got the SPCCI as well. Um, so those things are all good. The difference is this engine is 180 brake horsepower. 180 is amazing. Yeah, which is really great because our last, our, the other... Standard um, engine. Yeah, the petrol engine that we have, our mild hybrid, is 122. So the 180 is great. The thing I wasn't aware of is that the power comes in almost like the higher gear change. Yeah, there's, there's two different kind of power you get. You get the low low end grunt of a diesel with this engine so when you've got the lev when the revs are low you get that kind of shunt in the back to push you along but with a traditional diesel engine you have to change gear fairly early again um, but this obviously is a petrol engine you get more revs rev range is higher so you can drive it like a petrol as well so you get the top end speed so it is literally the best of both worlds yeah it does i really felt like when you drove it you almost had to learn how yeah. to get the best power yeah. out of it so the thing I wanted to say about that is it's not like a 180 brake horse with a turbo on where you get it in your foot instantly and it's there. It is different to that. And I think the reason I want to say that is it's well worth a drive. Like get to your local dealer, come and see us and just take one out because it's really interesting to drive it and see where that power is um, and how it works. Um, the fuel economies, I was trying to think off the top of my head what they were going to be, but I'm sure we'll find them. Do you know, Tom? I don't want to have a guess. <laughs> Do you know? Do you I mean, know? I can tell you in the in the standard engine, without the, the SPCCI, um, you should be getting somewhere between 50 and 55 to the gallon, which is very, very good for a 2-litre petrol engine um, with a hybrid system, mild hybrid system. Um, this one is going to give more. Yeah, see so this one on high or extra high, so you you can look you're gonna get as high as sixty point one. Um, I think basically I I'm a believer that the other engine's gonna get you about forty five. Okay. It depends how you drive. I mean in fairness my journey is down the motorway. Yeah, and you so drive like Miss Daisy. I do. <laughs> so for the people that don't drive like Miss Daisy and uh, drive normally like me in my MX five getting Kelly if you slash fast and um, Tom does drive super well so he does get great and um, but this engine I think is really gonna average you hopefully 50 to 55 like if you drive like Tom he's probably gonna see the heady heights of 60 he's super lucky sounds like a challenge and um, yeah oh god we should do, <laughs> we should do it. that um, Economy roulette. but 
yeah so but it's just a way i really feel like if you had a diesel car before and you've been trying petrols and you're just a little bit disappointed this technology is really giving you an answer it is more expensive um like the diesel was before if you're going to get better fuel economy better power you are going to pay more money but also what it's worth in the future is residual values are doing yeah. extremely well so actually if you are looking to fund it on a pcp if you're looking at a new car it's not actually working out terribly more expensive just because its future value is deemed to be so high um if you have got more questions about sky active x then please do let us know we have learned stuff about it now we are more knowledgeable but there's still um, some gaps we're going to carry on learning we will gonna share our knowledge more. um but i have to say and like you say we can go into more depth about the details of the engines but i just wanted to let you know that mazda is the only brand to have this technology um and when you look into the details of it it's absolutely awesome so if you have questions please ask us we have been super busy at the dealership which is why there's been slightly less videos in the last couple of weeks and i was on holiday you were, you um, were. but we will get back to doing some videos um and getting uh, more information out into that mazda community so as always a massive amount of mazda love um from your guru say bye bye Tom. bye bye don't forget get down to the dealership local dealership and drive one of these things because it is incredible absolutely 